Just like the release group, the aim is for any animal that's suitable to go back to the wild. Next up are this lot. The misfit monkeys. Hello. They love to jump, to move very quickly. These monkeys are a variety of species, but despite their differences, they enjoy hanging out together. We started to put them together and it went very well. They, they were like a family. They are very funny, crazy. They are like bad, bad little kids. <laughs> they have a far simpler social structure than chimps, so can form a group more easily and return to the wild more quickly. The most mischievous of the group is Luis. Luis, <laughs> please. A moustached guenon, best identified by the white stripe above his top lip. Maria spent a week with him when he first arrived at the sanctuary. I think I was kind of uh, like his mother, but it's not very easy to have a monkey. In the crates? <laughs> Bye, Luis. <laughs> he went for a walk. It looks like Luis is keen to get back to the forest, but he's not quite ready to go yet. First, all the monkeys must have a health check to make sure they're fit for release. You need to make sure that you are not going to bring a disease to the, to the forest. Like it's very important to make sure that they are in good health to prevent any infection in the wild. Health checks are a serious business. That is the anesthesi. But mischievous Luis, true to form, just wants to monkey around making it difficult for Maria to sedate him. But eventually, the dose begins to take effect. He's starting to uh, sleep. Hi, Luis. Buenas noches. He's already sleeping. We take this one and this He's now ready to go into the clinic for blood samples X-rays, dental checkups. We are analyzing the teeth to estimate the age. And swab tests. Vet Emmeline Chanov collects samples for analysis. We are looking for mainly parasites, virus, and bacteria. These are the three things we are searching that give diseases to animals. It's the end of a tough day for these little monkeys. But they're one step closer to returning to the wild. Five days later, Luis and his gang have been given the all clear. And they're on the way to Luanzi, a forest nearby the main sanctuary. All these monkeys are going to join the forest. It's so exciting this moment. It's a forest that we always release these species of monkeys. Like chimpanzees, monkeys are rarely sent straight back to the wild. First, they must spend some time adjusting to their new surroundings. This is known as a soft release. We have a little cage in the middle of the forest and we put them inside just to make sure they get used of the new place. And then we open the, the cage, we let them go. It's so nice to see them watching the forest. The monkeys seem very excited to be in their new forest enclosure where they'll spend the next 10 days. Two caregivers will stay with Luis and his gang 24-7 to feed them wild fruits from the forest and monitor their behavior for any signs of stress. It's a slow transition, but important if they're to make it in the open forest after release. <laughs> 